All right, guys, Son Goku here. <laughs> um, but you probably know me as, you know, cooking and driving and backing specialists uh, with uh, different uh, various trucking companies. You see me all over the United States and some of you uh, possibly recognize me from training different students all over um, the States. Anyway, uh, what I would like to talk about is, um, Elsa, yeah, no. <laughs> Ooh, let it grow. Um, <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about a little bit of my history. Um, I have a mental illness uh, when I was a child back in high school. Um, a lot of you probably know me from uh, Mount Miguel High School especially when I was um, in Spring Valley, uh, when I was jumping around. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Um, and I want to talk about my history with, you know, I married in Morocco. Yeah, August 28, 2015. Um, didn't consummate, by the way. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, she came here July 17th of 2018, and come to find out uh, she's been talking to somebody since then. Um, somebody else, yes. Uh, she uh, pretty much used me for a green card. And um, that kind of triggered my paranoid schizophrenia again. Um, and come to find out that my instincts were right. Uh, and I found out, uh, especially with the guys that she's been talking to online that wanted to know who I was. Um, <laughs> yeah, go figure, right? Uh, I committed suicide in February of 2020. Um, I did get fired first before I attempted that. Um, it was a good thing that I'm no longer trucking, um, you know, at that time. Uh, I lit myself on fire. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, I couldn't breathe and I did pass out at one point. Um, but when I woke, uh, I was in pain all over. Um, these turned into boils once I uh, woke up. Uh, you know, uh, I was in a lot worse condition than what you see me now. Um, I think I lost some hair. Um, you can see a little bit on the forehead, but you can still see the mark from the neck. Um, it was hard to swallow. Um, I didn't have an appetite. Um, it was the worst feeling in the world when um, I attempted on my life. You don't want to do that. Uh, I think God gave me a second chance to let you guys know that there's always an alternative than taking your own life because God doesn't want us taking our own life and that's what he wanted me to tell you guys. You know, he created us and Lucifer, the devil, is jealous of us because of how God created us. And he, God created us in, in such intricacy, he, you know, our bodies are so complicated, um, but only God, you know, was able to do it. You know, you know ever seen Frankenstein? <laughs> no spirit, no soul. We have the spirit and soul, and that's how we communicate. And that's what he wanted me to tell you guys, um, is we could still talk to God. We need to believe in him because he's the only one that could really save us from the pits of hell. And um, I'll tell you guys right now, hell is way worse than this heat, um, triple digit degrees, right? It's way worse. And you guys don't wanna, you know, go there you know God created us you know to glorify him 
to glorify his uh, nature around us, but you know, because of this, all this man-made stuff, uh, it's really hard to actually believe in him. It's because, you know, the devil put it there. He's putting obstacles so we don't believe in God, okay? And um, it's not just about going to church. It's not just about, uh, you know, uh, reading the Bible, you know, at a Bible study. You know, it's uh, kind of almost like an, an everyday thing. Yes, we're sinners. I'm a sinner. Uh, I mean, I still smoke cigarettes, you know, from time to time. Um, you know, it's, it's really hard to be, you know, you know, like God, but, you know, we're not trying to be like God. We're trying to be His creation, you know, to live, you know, to create more life, you know, to make ease of life. You know, for example, I mean, you, you know, He has us going in one direction and we insist on it. But, you know, that's not the direction that God wants us to go. He's, you know, wanting us to go the other direction to make it, you know, easier for us. Um, and sometimes we fail to actually acknowledge, you know, that, you know, okay, God is trying to save you from something. You know, He's trying to tell you something, you know, because He cares about every single one of us because He created us just like the animals, just like the, you know, unknowing bugs, you know, uh, you know that he created you know but he created life you know we didn't create all you know all this air and you know the scientific stuff that you guys you know are looking at you know believe it or not this is all the work of God you know he was doing a lot of work and what are we gonna do for him you know it's like, you know, we need to treat our bodies good. And, you know, not always is it, you know, perfume, cologne and stuff like that, you know, to, you know, yeah, you know, we clean our bodies, you know, you know, that should be good enough. You know, we don't need all this extra stuff that just creates allergies and all that, you know, we're, we're destroying ourselves, guys. Um, I'm just reminding you that even through this COVID, how can we be exposed to, you know, something and be immune to it? If we're not even out here, you know, being exposed to it, you know, I'm sorry, but, you know, the government is not God. You know, since when is the government for God? Ask yourselves that. You know, and I don't think, you know, the government's ever been, you know, for God. Because look at the systems now, you know, everything is, you know, in, in anarchy, you know. I mean, yeah, it's like, you know, how are we living for God, you know, when, you know, everything is based on money now, you know, you know, paper, you know, God created these trees and, you know, the leaves and air and that, that we breathe. I mean, even when we were in, you know, our mother's room, uh, we were, we were breathing water, weren't we, you know, as children. And then we get exposed to air and then we adapted, right? You know, this is this is life that God created. And you know, he wanted me to tell you, you know, that it's it's precious and you know, the way things are going now, you know, we've forgotten forgotten about God because you know, you guys are letting Satan you know, actually, you know, rule over everything. Um, and I was in a depressed mode when I, you know, when I tried to take my own life. It is not my life to take. All have far, you know, fallen short of the glory of God. You know, you know, spread your wings and He'll cover you. You know, He'll lift you up. You know, God, you know, has always been there, you know, we talk to him, you know, in the spiritual sense, not just in the mental or, you know, you know, word of mouth. Um, you know, there's a deeper inner, you know, feeling that, you know, you could sense it. Even if you just open, you know, a Bible, you know, just random, okay, it'll, he'll speak to you and what he wants to tell you you know and sometimes it's in our in our heads already you know when he's speaking to us 
Yeah, I'm a paranoid schizophrenic and you know, I take my medication. It's making me very sleepy at times. You know, it's really hard to keep a job at times. Um, but this is my story and it may be your last, you know. So, you know, try not to hurt yourselves, you know, if you're in the same boat. Um, if you come across, you know, being depressed uh, or having some kind of, you know, mental illness and, you know, there are professionals for that, you know, and don't be afraid to call 911. Believe it or not, they'll, they'll be right there in a jiffy, okay, you know, because, you know, it, it's one of the top priorities compared to, you know, somebody breaking into somebody's car, okay. So don't be afraid to call 911, you know, to, you know, get help. I've been called, you know, like several times, you know, and I've insisted, you know, I get hospitalized, you know, this whole time. Um, I've been in the hospital several times as well, um, just so that they could adjust my medication, you know, at times, but, um, you know, mental health matters you know and um your spirituality matters as well uh, is why you know i'm making this video and hopefully you guys you know could understand you know where i'm coming from some of you already have you know uh gone through what i've already gone through and had their second chance third chance or whatever you're not gonna have, you know, another chance, you know, because maybe you'll succeed. And I don't want, you know, people going to hell for taking their own life when it's, you know, God's. If you guys have watched Passion of Christ, you know, wow, I mean, you it, it nailed it, okay? You know, God gave his only begotten son, you know, uh, and to show and prove the you know to the world that he actually does love us you know and i mean just the humbleness you know the i mean if you look around you where is that you know it's really hard because you know satan has already taken over a lot in this world and we can't allow him to take more souls. Um, you know, you're just feeding him. He's jealous of us. You know, God created us to be able to heal and recover. You know, only God could do that. You know, he created us, you know, and the devil is really jealous of us, guys. You know, because of how God created us. You know, we have the ability you know, to be stronger than he is. You know, we have the power to rebuke him and actually send him back, you know, to hell where he does belong. He chose that. God put him there. And there's a reason why God put him there. I mean, where's our loyalty, you know, to God? Well, thank you for watching, guys. Um, have a blessed day. And um, hopefully, you know, some of you would actually, you know, hear my video, you know, just for your own good. Thank you.